What's up everybody, this is Mastery and Gamer, and today I've got another quick news update video. I'll be talking about the new Overwatch comic featuring Zarya on her hunt for Sombra, followed by the official announcement and release date of the new Overwatch exclusive Cute But Deadly Series 3 figures. So let's jump right on in. First up is the new Zarya-centric comic, titled Searching. It serves as a direct sequel to the Infiltration animated short, which ended with Katya Volskaya requesting assistance from Zarya to help her with her new friend. The first page shows things picking up exactly where they left off at the end of the cinematic, with Zarya and Katya continuing that same conversation. I won't bother reading it all off to you, but the general tone seems to be that Zarya is uncomfortable going on this kind of bounty hunting mission, but Katya, given what's at stake, trusts only her to see it through. The comic's description then goes on to mention that, while searching for Sombra, Zarya begrudgingly employs the help of an Omnic hacker, who we can see on the comic's cover. Over the course of this story, Zarya will have to reevaluate her stance on all Omnics being evil, given the situation she's put in. Also, it looks like they may be having some sort of run-in with the Los Muertos gang, of which Sombra was previously a member. I'm personally really excited about this, as, much like the Junkers, Los Muertos is one of those Overwatch universe factions which seem really cool but we don't get to see very much of, so hopefully they'll serve a decent role in this story. This comic is set to release sometime later today, possibly even before I get this video uploaded. Once the comic is released, I'll have a link to where you can read it yourself down in the description below. Given that Roadhog's Wasted Land comic came out only three weeks ago, and the May animated short not long before that, it's interesting how much Overwatch story content we've been getting recently. Having two comics released less than a month apart from each other seems to be an odd decision on Blizzard's behalf, since it's usually better for a company to space these things out. Maybe it's an indicator that we'll be getting more story content in general from now on, but we shouldn't necessarily get our hopes up. We probably won't get anything big story-wise for the soon upcoming Halloween event, but just after that is BlizzCon, where we can most likely expect to see a lot of cool new things announced and released. Anyways, moving on to the second major news topic, Blizzard officially announced on Tuesday via Twitter that the new Cute But Deadly Series 3 figures will be available on the Blizzard Gear store starting October 10th. I mentioned these before in one of my news update videos, but for those of you who are unfamiliar, Cute But Deadly is Blizzard's blind box figures lineup, featuring chibi versions of characters from across all their games. Previously, each series of figures had characters from multiple games, but starting with Series 3, each series will be game-specific. This is great for people like me, who only really play one of Blizzard's main games. So, as I mentioned, Series 3 will be exclusively Overwatch characters, and from the image shown, it looks like we can expect it to feature Hanzo, Genji, McCree, D.Va, Reaper, Zarya, Sombra, and Lucio in their default skins as well as Soldier 76, Farah, Tracer, and Bastion in epic skin variants. Judging by the figures featured in past Cupa Deadly series, each figure will stand about 3 inches tall, and since they come in blind boxes, the skin variant heroes will most likely be less common than the rest. Each random blind box will contain one figure and cost $10 USD. Given that you don't even get to pick specifically which hero you get, I think this price is a little too much on the steep end for me personally, but then again, what do I know? Most people probably don't visit their local dumpster to get dinner each night. Regardless, they're pretty cool little collectibles, and I'm sure many Overwatch fans will be happy to test their luck by buying a few. And that will do it for today's quick news update. I'll have links to everything I talked about down in the description below. Leave a comment saying how excited you are for either of these new things, and cast your vote about it in today's poll card. If you enjoyed this video and want to help out my channel, then hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit the bell to keep up with all my future Overwatch related videos. This is Mastery and Gamer, signing off. So until next time, have a great day.